Let's uh, solve this using the zero factor property. We have 8x squared plus 14x plus 3 equals 0. And instructions here just say solve each equation by factoring. But the zero factor property um, is when you have 0 on one side and um, you can factor the other side. Well, x squared x, no x, and there's a number in front of our x squared. That's the key number. With the key number, we take our number at the beginning times the number at the end. So we take 8 times 3, and we'd ignore signs. If that was a negative 3, we'd still just take 3. And we come up with our three columns. P column, we write down all products, give us 24. We got 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6. The S column, we add those numbers together. 1 plus 24 is 25, 2 plus 12 is 14, 3 plus 8 is 11. 4 plus 6 is 10. Difference column, we subtract smaller from larger. 24 minus 1 is 23. 12 minus 2 is 10. 8 minus 3 is 5. 6 minus 4 is 2. Now, a number we're looking for is a number in our middle term, which is 14, which is right here, which means we're used 2 and 12. And we're going to rewrite our middle term using those two numbers. Now, the larger number in the P column that we're going to use, which is the 12, is always going to be the same sign as the middle term, which is positive in this case. So I got plus 12x. The number of circles in the s column, s for same sign, so if the 12 is positive, then 2 has to be positive. Then we want to factor by grouping. Now the first group uh, has a 4x in common, so I can factor that out, and that gives us 2x plus 3. Now we always want to factor something out, so if you can factor nothing else out, factor out a 1. And that's what I'll do here and that leaves us 2x plus 3. Now remember our goal was to get this parentheses the same as that parentheses, which it is. So I'll factor that out in front. And to decide what goes in your second set of parentheses, you can cover up these 2x plus 3's and that leaves us 4x plus 1. Now zero factor property. You get 0 on one side, you factor the other side, you set each factor equal to 0. So I said 2x plus 3 equal to 0 and 4x plus 1 equal to 0. And then we're going to solve each one. So this is just a linear equation. Take 3 over, becomes a negative 3. Divide both sides by 2. And we get x is equal to negative 3 halves. On this one, take the 1 over, becomes a negative 1. Divide both sides by 4. And you get x is equal to negative 1 fourth. And those are our two answers.